Hello friend, in this video I'm going to prove that A union B into brackets B intersection C equals to A union B intersection A union B and at the same time I will be proving that uh, into bracket A union B close the bracket union C equals to A union into bracket B union C actually to keep this short, the first case I'm having here is actually a distributive property why second case is taken to be associative property then how can we go about this it is very simple it's actually very simple and very easy and looking at this can i just say uh proving the first one i'm proving the first one right now i must prove that a union b intersection c equals to a union b intersection a union b very simple then I'm going to assume the fact that let can I see it now x be a member from the left hand side now I'm proving from the left hand side. Let x be a member of what of A. Can I see it now? Then this union means what or take note of this union means what or and interaction means what and she get now. So x is a member of what of A. I'm going to write or x is a member of what B intersection C. Very simple. Then, yeah. doing that, I'm going to expand this. Show that I have x is a member of A or x is a member of B and x is a member of what? C. Can I see it now? Then, what am I doing? What am I, what am I proving? I'm proving towards this side, right? So, what do you think I can do here? Since x is a member of A or x is a member of B and x is a member of what? Of C. And I must prove that A union B into bracket intersection a junior what union b again can I see it now so actually i think this should be a junior c they are not b again it should be c it should be c it should not be so you see a bit twice it should be c so looking at this very well i can just say x is a member of a can I see that or x is a member of c can I see this now and X is a member of A or X is a member of B. The reason why is that, you know, the first case here that I'm proving right now is actually a distributive property. She get now. So that means I need to distribute my, my A towards to B and also to C. You understand? So in this case, what do you think I can go and do? Okay. I can actually say, since X is a member of A or X is a member of C, I can just say X is a member of A. Or means what union C. Can you see that? And means intersection, which is what intersection X is a member. Can you see that? Of A union B, which is of B. Then just let me simplify that we have X is a member of what of A union C intersection A union what B. Can you see that? If you look at it, they are the same. Very simple. So now I'm moving to the second case. The second case, I say, I'm going to use the same method. It's very simple. Now let's prove the second case. The second case, I'm having. Uh, we have to prove that a union b, union c. Uh, sorry for the bracket. Equals to what? A union b, union c. Look at this. This is this what they call associative property. She get uh, a union b, union c. You know this and this are enclosed in the brackets. Why in this case A is what is left out, it's not enclosed in the brackets. That's that is um associative property. I can just go ahead and say proving from what from this side, that's the left hand side. I can just say let X be a member of A union B. Very simple. This one. And this is what or X be a member of what C. Can I see now? They go ahead and open the bracket here. You have what X is a member of A. What is this? That's all. She get down. X is a member of what of B. Or you write this one down. X is a member of what C. Without that being said, you can just go ahead and move again. Look at this. X is a member of A or X is a member of what of B or X is a member of C. Then just go ahead and see. X is a member of A. Can I see down? Or X is a member of what? B. You write B first. Or means what junior. Then you have what your C. Very simple. Then go ahead and simplify this. You have X is a member of A. This all means what? Union. A. Union. 
into brackets. You know, let's remember what of this. This is what B union what C, which is what equals to this. Can I say it's very simple? So that's just it. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe right now. Don't just view and pass, okay? So help the guy here, please. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and um click on the notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop a video. Thanks for watching.